Hey guys, welcome back to Priscilla's Craft Shop. And this is the final video of my base hat collections. This hat, we're going to be making it for a child size. So you're going to need your H hook, your scissors. And again, this would be whatever color you would use would be, you know, if you're just making your own base hat, whatever color you'd like. Or if we're making a character hat, on that character hat video, I will let you know what color you would need to make your base hat. All right, so let's get started. In a magic circle, you are going to chain two and work nine double crochet into that magic circle. All right, after you've done your nine double crochets, Close that with a slip stitch, go into your first double crochet, chain two. This next round is going to be an increase. You're going to work two double crochets in each stitch around for a total of 18 double crochets. So just so that you know, that chain two does not count as a double crochet or a stitch in this. You're going to work your first two double crochets in that same stitch as that chain two, and then two in each round around again for 18 double crochets. Okay, now that you've finished that round, slip stitch into your first double crochet and chain two. If you find these videos easy to follow along, um, simple for you to understand, please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. This next round, we are going to do an increase and I like to say three, only because it's our third round and we are working two double crochet in the first stitch, one in the next. So you could go one, two, three. One, two, three. So two double crochet in the same stitch as your chain two. Let's try that again. And then one in the next, one, two, three. And you continue that around, that's gonna end you up with a total of 27 double crochet. Okay, we're finishing up this row. We have two stitches left. So one, two, and three. Slip stitch into your first double crochet, chain two. This next round is going to be fours. So two double crochet in the first stitch, one double crochet in the next two. So that's one, two, three, four. So in our same chain two, we're going to work two double crochets. And then we're going to do one double crochet in the next two stitches. One, two, three, four. You're gonna repeat that all the way around for a total of 36 double crochet. Okay, so we're finishing up that round. We have three stitches left. I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. Join with a slip stitch into your first double crochet, chain two. This next round, we're going to work in sets of fives. Um, it's another increase. So two double crochet in the first stitch, one in the next three, one, two, three, four, five, and you're gonna continue that around. So that's gonna go two double crochet, the same stitch, one double crochet in the next three stitches, and one, two, three, four, five. Continue that around for a total of 45 double crochets. Okay, so we're gonna finish up. We have four stitches left. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch into your first double crochet, chain two, and now this next Increase is count of six. So two in the first stitch, one in the next four for a total of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to continue that all the way around for a total of 54 double crochet. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five stitches left. 
that's one, two in the same stitch, three, four, five, six, slip stitch into your first double crochet, chain two. Now this next round will not be an increase. You're going to just work one double crochet in each stitch, including the stitch of the same, you know, the same stitch as a chain two. So one double crochet in each stitch for a total of 54 double crochets. Okay. Now slip stitch into the first double crochet, chain two. This next round is an increase by 10. So one, two, and then one double crochet in the next eight stitches. And that's gonna give you a total of 60 double crochets. So you have one, two in the same stitch, and then one in the next eight. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then continue that. So again, there will be another increase, and then one in the next eight. And so you get a round for a total of six stitches. Okay, finishing my last one. Slip stitch into your first double crochet, chain two. And now this next round, you're going to work in rows of 11. So two in the first um, stitch, two double crochet in the first stitch, and then one in the next nine stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And you're going to continue doing that all the way around for a total of 66 double crochet. Now, this size hat fits me, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. It fits all of my children, you know, my eight-year-old, my 14-year-old. Um, it fits me. It does not fit my husband. So if you want to make a hat, a hat size um, for a larger size head, you know, maybe your kid has a bigger head, more hair, whatever, you can do this row of 11 for a total of 66. And then the next row, you can do 12, sets of 12 for a total of 72 and then work that around, okay? But you're doing a child size, this is where you stop. So we're gonna do sets of 11 all the way around for a total of 66 double crochet. Right, I just finished my 11th one, my 66th one. Uh, slip stitch into your first double crochet, chain one, and you are done doing increases, right? So from here on out, all you are going to do is one double crochet in each stitch. So we are at row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are at our ninth row and we need to get to row 16. So you're gonna continue to do one double crochet in each stitch, slip stitch into your first double crochet, chain two, another row of one double crochet each, 66 double crochets all around for a total of 16 rows. Again, if you wanna make this size, but you want it to be a little bit longer, I like normally my hats to re reach right um, the middle of the forehead. Um, if you want it a little longer, you can do another round. Or if you're doing the larger size, you can do 17 rows. But for child size, 16 rows is all you need. Okay? Again, one double crochet in each stitch around for 66 double crochets. Slip stitch into your first double crochet, chain two, and keep doing that until you hit row 16 all right i will see you guys all right last double crochet slip stitch into your first double crochet and chain one now we are going to work our first ear flap so you have that chain one you're going to work 12 single crochets across so your first single crochet is going to be in the same stitch as that chain one one two three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Chain one and turn. This next row is going to be a decrease. You're going to do the first two with a single crochet together, single crochet in the next uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the last two, you're going to do a single crochet together as well. So that goes that's together. And then a single crochet in the next eight. And then a single crochet together with the last two. Chain one and turn. This next round is going to be a single crochet straight across. Chain one and turn. Another decrease. The first two single crochet, the first two stitches, you're going to do a single crochet together and then a single crochet in the next one, two, three, four, five, six, single crochet together in the last two, chain one and turn. You're going to work one single crochet in each stitch across. Chain one and turn, another decrease with a single crochet together in the first two and another single crochet together in the last two. Together, chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across. chain one and turn, another single decrease, single crochet together in these first two and in these last two. Chain one and turn, single crochet straight across these next four stitches. Chain one and turn, you're going to do two single crochet together, the first two, and then with the last two, chain one and turn, and the last single crochet together, and fasten it off, and you have completed your first ear flap. Okay, so this is my seam. This is going to be in the back of the hat. Okay, I don't want it to be visible, so I like to push it. I like to keep it to the back of the hat, which means it's going to be in the back of the ear flap. So with that being said, that means that this is going to be the front of our hat. Obviously, it's inside out. So I'm going to make a standing single crochet. And I'm going to count 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So we leave 25 stitches in the front. So you're going to go into the 26th stitch, but you're going to leave 25 stitches unworked. And single crochet, you're going to work 12 single crochets straight across. chain one and turn. This next round is a decrease and we all know that that's a single crochet together with the first two stitches and then a single crochet together in the last two stitches with a single crochet in each stitch in the middle. Chain one 
chain one and turn. This next row is a single crochet in each stitch. chain one and turn. This next one is a decrease with the first two and the last two. Chain one and turn. This next round is worked a single crochet in each stitch. Chain one and turn, another decrease. Chain one and turn, straight across. Chain one and turn, decrease. Chain one and turn, straight across. Chain one and turn, decrease with the remaining four stitches. That leaves you with two, chain one, turn, and do your last decrease. Fasten off. Okay, so this is the front. And this is the back because this is where we have our seam, right? So now we are going to single crochet all across the edge of the hat and the ear flap so that it looks more, um, just cleaner. So you want to see your back of your hat. This is my seam. So this is the back of my hat. And what I like to do is I like to kind of fold it in half to match up my ear flaps. And then with the back of my hat, my seam, the back of my hat, I look to see where more or less the center is. And that's where I insert my hook to start my standing single crochet. And then I just single crochet straight across. And I go this way. And then for the ear flap, don't drive yourself too crazy, okay? If you see, there's there these little holes here, 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 like that. Do you see them? That's just where you're going to insert your hook, okay? So you have the hole here, the hole here, 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 like that. Trying to do this so that you can see it where I go. All right, when you reach the top of your ear flap, you have the one stitch. What I like to do personally is do two single crochets in that one stitch. You don't have to do that. You can just do one, but I like to do two because I feel like it rounds it off and it just gives it a cuter look when you're doing braids. But if you want it pointier, it's totally your preference. You can do that. I do too. So now with the string that you had fastened off from your ear flap, you're going to take that and you're going to hold it against your ear flap. And we're going to single crochet it against the ear flap. This is so that when we're ready to sew off all of our loose ends, it's already partially held in place. And it just makes it easier. And it gives it a neater finish. Instead of having to, you know, find the place here that people can see it, it just makes it easier to have it further in the hat. Okay. Take your working yarn to the side. 
take that string that you had up against your ear flap and just give it a little pull so that it's straight. And there you go. Now with your working yarn, continue. You don't have to hold it against the hat anymore. Just continue to go across with a single crochet. All right, we're again at the top of our second ear flap at that one single crochet, and I will be working two single crochets there with my end. I'm going to hold that against my ear flap. I'm gonna take my working yarn, and I'm gonna crochet that, single crochet that across holding it nice and tight against the ear flap. And then the reason you want to pull it is because it's just, it's bunched up a little. So I'm just gonna pull it and that's it. That one wasn't so bunched up so bad. Sometimes they can get really, they can look really sloppy in there. And then join with a slip stitch into your first single crochet and fasten off. I'm gonna flip it right side out. And you have to just sew up your loose ends, but this is hat for child size. All right. You have all of the sizes here. I hope that you found my video easy to follow. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.